So we have an ice cream cone that is nine inches tall, and the rim has a diameter of three inches. Write a script to determine the weight of the ice cream that can fit in the cone, assuming that the ice cream above the cone is a perfect hemisphere. You may neglect the thickness of the cone material. Assume the gallon of ice cream weighs 10 pounds and occupies 6.5 cubic feet. So uh, why don't we get to that? Um, so again, define the variables of what you have. So if the diameter is 3 inches, that means the radius would be 1.5 inches. Now I'm just going to put the comma in inches. inches. Um, height would be 9, and that's in inches. And what formula will we be using? Well, the volume of a cone is V equals 1 third um, times pi times r squared. And that's how you would show it in MATLAB, times the height. So we can make a variable called V for volume to be 1 third times pi times r squared times the height. Um, and pi is 3.14159, you know, um, and you just, in that lab, it's known as is pi. And let's uh, suppress this here so it doesn't display. And we'll have our radius be 1.5, which is the radius of the sphere. And I mean, we don't really need to put that, actually. Um, why don't we do the volume of the sphere? So, again, I'd recommend actually like drawing this out before you kind of um, tackle the problem here. See, this is I'm just showing the like the calculations and how to do it in MATLAB. So I'd encourage you to actually pause the video and uh, write the um, problem out on paper, solve it then, and then use MATLAB as your calculator kind of to solve the problem. Um, I'm just. This is video is kind of just showing like the technique and the way of uh, using MATLAB here um, for a simple problem like this. So um, now we have the volume of the sphere and the volume of the cone. But remember, they said assume that the part was the hemisphere. So we're gonna have to divide by two to get the top portion to represent the ice cream. So the ice cream, I'll call it that little top hemisphere, would just be this the um, the volume of the sphere. Um, divided by 2. And so that means the total volume would be the ice cream plus the cone, which we have as V. Now I'm just going to put this as cone, and this is sphere, I guess. And then sphere. Okay. Uh, to make it more clear, I guess. And um, that means what we want cubic volume because our current units are in inches cubed and it wanted it in cubic feet, right? If you read the problem, so let's write cubic volume is equal to total volume divided by, and the conversion would be 1 12th uh, raised to the third power here. And uh, that's that. So um, now if we wanted it in feet cubed, we could have it as cubic volume oops, equals total volume times 1 12, 1 over 12, raised to the third power. And now, remember we were given the info that 10 gallons of ice cream has volume 6.5 cubic feet. Um, we have to use proportions um, to figure out the weight of it, so let's do that. So, then we would call it another variable. I'm just going to call it weight of ice cream. And that would be 10 times the cubic volume divided by 6.5, which was given in the problem there. And the cubic volume it's going to use is the most uh, recent one here, so we want to make sure it's that one. And it sure enough will be. Um, so now we can display our answer here. Um, so when it, it, the program runs, it will know exactly what number is being spit out. So I'm going to call this weight of ice cream. Ice cream is percent %f. Let's do like 0.01, which are decimal places for rounding. 
and um, this slash n is uh, just to represent a new line. And we want to display which variable, and that again is weight of ice cream. And uh, so what I'm going to do is actually uh, leave it as percent %f here. Uh, we don't need a round. I'm going to run the program, see if it works. And boom, we got the weight of the ice cream. Uh, that's pretty cool. All right, so that's the second one. And I think uh, we'll actually wrap up this video here. Um, I think I did a problem similar to this in another video uh, a while back.